We hosted what might just be the biggest Inazuma 11 tournament of all time. Here's how. The Victory Road Beta released on March 28th, and to celebrate, I wanted to hold a tournament. A few other creators were also doing that, so I wanted to make mine special. And I did that by introducing two major rules. Namely, that anyone could participate and we had an unlimited number of slots. That unlimited number of slots ended up not actually being true as we winded up having to cap it at 256 players. That's crazy. The tournament was held from the 29th of March, one day after the game's release, to the 1st of April with the initial five rounds all being held off stream on my Discord and the quarterfinals onwards being streamed live onto this YouTube channel. As the game had just come out, nothing was banned and the only rule was that if your match ended in a draw, you played for a golden goal, with the player who scores first winning the round. Here's how the final day of the tournament unfolded as the eight remaining players competed for a free copy of the full Inazuma 11 Victory Road game and the title of winner of what might just be the biggest ever in Azuma 11 tournament. The first quarterfinal between SD Snowio and Sean 12 Square SQ Square. I don't know. I don't know what. Fair. Okay, right. I I see how you may have got this far. Right, so Mark, Scott, Jack, Nathan, yeah, Aphrodite, Sunny. I love the Sunny inclusion. I love the Sonny inclusion. Bro. Bro. Fair play, y'all. None of y'all stood a chance. Okay. Mark, Gabby, Goldie, Nathan, Hurley, Arian, Aphrodite. Both using the Bylong Tezcat up front. Okay. And SD Snowio is the blue. Sean is the red. We've already seen a tactic being pulled out, which is more than I know what to do. Right. SD is... Makes it through past Hurley. He is Tezcat running up the wing. 1,563? Bro. But is that not going to get the shot off? It's going to go straight up against the castle wall. 605? Not bad. Decent. Decent start from SD. Bylong straight into the zone. Getting a shot straight off. Not wasting any time in the slightest. This could go in. We could be seeing the first goal here. It is looking like that, 652, but here's the god hand. But it's going to go in anyway. And SD immediately claiming the first goal, not wasting any time in the slightest. Can Sean do anything? SD has managed to do that without even getting a single, uh, without Sean getting a single shot off. You imagine that Sean will need some kind of breach potentially and it is sd who goes into the second half with a lead a, a pretty tight one nil lead though sean did manage to mount a little bit of a comeback in the later stages of that half lowering sd's kp down you'd think that the next shot will be a goal sunny gets the ball over by along but you'd think the castle wall here but no okay the castle wall though does manage to block that a bit. Mark Evans with the god hand. And it is going to just stop it. Just. Just. Tezcat is actually going to pull the Cyclone Sprint off though. The fake name move. And that's one really high up the pitch. Great opportunity here. Brilliant opportunity for SD to get a goal here. But the Invincible Keeper was pulled out. And so Sean... Just manages to keep things so that he's only one behind. But his counter-attack... Ooh, might just actually have been pulled off. Here's the Dragon Drive. And it looks like this is going to be the first goal. You'd think. The first goal for Sean. And there we go. And all thanks to an invincible keeper, Sean has taken things from a possible 2-0 down to a 1-1. Over to Bialong. You assume he just wants to get the shot off, right? Yeah. Gets the shot off before any castle walls. Sean somehow, I mean, fair play to him. He's somehow managed to not concede, despite his keeper at KP being that low. I imagine he's trying to take this to a golden goal situation. Okay, Aphrodite bringing the ball over. 
Over to Tezcat. Huge. This might be it. This might be it. Black Ash. Black Ash for the win, you'd assume? Is this going to be it? Is there anything that Sean can do? There isn't. And it's 2-1 to SD. Running down the wing. Can he get one more shot off? Maybe give that breach chance a go. It looks like he might just be able to. But actually, time is going to run out. And SD is our first semi-finalist. Big JP fan versus Yanis, who is Roranoa1901. We are uh, looking at Big JP fans footage. Let's see how this goes. Faerun, Byron. This is such a breach team. Have you ever seen anything more breachy than this team? That is hella breachy. This is less breachy. Axel, Gazelle, Sean, Heath. This is kind of unusual. I feel like I haven't seen some of these players before. In like this, this high level. That's so sick. Okay, Faye. What is Faye going to do here? Over to Aphrodite. Is Aphrodite going to go for the shot? Looks like he is. Oh, what a kick. What a kick. And Mark is going to stop that in their tracks. Gazelle straight into the zone. Northern Impact. Our first shot of the... Like, our first proper Hizatsu shot of the match. Ooh, it's a shot chain. I don't think we saw any of these in the last match. Going into Bylon. I think they were more... They, last match, they were just firing shots left, right, and center. This time, we've got a shot chain. Some castle walls coming into effect there, though. And here's Mark. And he does stop it. Into Torch. Here we go. It is... Darren stopping it. Big JP fan though. That is a hit to his MKP. And that's half time. An intense match so far. But the deadlock has not been broken. And we go into half time. Nil. Nil. A legendary wolf though. Bing bang. Bosh. Big shot. Let's see what. Oh, actually, this might. This might score, you know. It does. And Roranoa smashes through and secures the first goal. That felt like it came out of nowhere. First, Roranoa was just walking around, biding their time, and has then come around and scored a humongous goal. Looks like Big JP fan wants to cut down that deficit, wants to equalize things as quick as possible here. Hence why Byron is just immediately going for the shot. Feyrun obviously running straight down. And there we go. There is the shot. There is the goal. And Big JP fan takes the equalizer. Gets the equalizer. Gets the equalizer. Just an MPM2 straight out of the bat to Mark. Taking off those fire players who couldn't really do much against Mark. Bringing on some more elemental neutral players. Over to... This is going straight to Sean. What has Big JP fan got to stop this? Ooh, it's just a direct kick. And you imagine if that was Legendary Wolf, that actually probably could have scored. But that is a huge dent. And considering I was saying about two seconds ago that I didn't think that Roanoa had another goal in him in this match, that has completely changed things. I don't know if he'll even want to try and go for the goal. Just in the, in the case of... He might want to play for the draw. But we are seeing the nut shot. Maybe going for the breach. Praying for that. God hand. And it's a save. The actual opposite. Does Roanoa have enough time to score? You imagine all he needs is one chance and he doesn't get it. And it is going to go to a golden goal. Sean in the box. Over to Axel. 800. Are we going to see the goal? No, we're not. Mugen the hand. Mugen the hand's been pulled out. And it's not going to be enough. And Roranoa is going to do it. Roranoa takes the lead. And Roranoa wins with the golden goal. Solar versus uh, Mocking EJ. Best of luck to you both. Walking down. We're on the third quarter final. Battle. Yo, look at that captain armband. I've never seen the Zeus armband on a goalkeeper before. That's crazy. Yo, this man is rocking not only the fence Tezcat. But also, Zohan. Hey, maybe he's kind of based. Korma as well. And what are we rocking here? Ator, Hurley, Sunny Wright. We see our first non-level 30s. Gazelle and Torch. 
29 27. Man wants his breach rate up. Oh, it's the ball over the top to Xavier. And we're looking like we're going to have our first shot off. We still have not seen a breach yet in this tournament. Oh, and it's to Torch. It's to Gazelle. He's playing bloody ping pong over here. 879. Low is it to 683. And Sam is going to stop this nice and easily with a combustion catch here. Or is he? He is. He is. Gazelle is going to get the shot off here. Up to 468. Not too bad, but he is just lowering that KP down. Remember, that's what we saw. And it's a breach! It's a breach! 13 minutes into the match, and it's a breach for Electric Solar. Mocking EJ has just been breached. Is he just going to get the shot off, or is he trying for a chain? He's just going to get the shot off, he's decided. It's a combustion catch. Imagine if he gets back-to-back -back breaches. He doesn't. He doesn't. EJ is fine. We're going to go into halftime. 1-0 lead for Solar, but... It's not looking great for Mocking EJ. You'd expect that, is, that he would still be in it, but I don't think he's even got it exactly. The game proves my point. I don't think he's got, even got a shot off. Solar, five shots to Mocking J, zero. 60% possession to Mocking J's um, 40. And Torch does not do anything about it. That is unlucky. That is really unlucky. Meanwhile, Solar has gone, well, you know what? You tried. I'm just going to immediately go for it. He's picking up right where he left off. May have got a bit of luck his way, but now he's decided just to go for it. This is going to go straight. Is it? No, never mind. The gloopy, gloopy goo has come out. And it has done enough. It's done enough to stop that shot in its tracks. And it is Mocking EJ going to get... No, Korma... Korma's back out. Korma going straight for the shot, actually. Is this going to be a direct free kick goal? It's not because they pulled out the last minute invincible keeper. And they're actually, they've turned out all right. They've kept themselves in the game. But it looks like this is just going to be another chance for Solar to shoot. And potentially eat, double his lead. The Flame Fortress is coming out. Is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough to do it? It actually is. The, com the burning catch plus the tactics. And somehow, Mocking EJ has kept himself in it. This is crazy. And is EJ going to get his first shot off? He is. Now, a breach here. Never mind. Zohan t intercepts it. And somehow, this has become a solar attack that might end in a solar goal. And it looks like it will. And it looks like it will. And Solar has just turned defense into an offense. Just like that. And there we have it. Full time. And Solar gets the 2-0 victory. And it's the final quarterfinal between Freddy and Zato. And this is going to be a very interesting one. We've got, again, two level 31s. But here we go. Let's take a look at these teams. We've got Goldie in midfield. Goldie in midfield, but Nathan in defense is something I have never seen and something I never thought I would see. But you know what? I respect it. Then we've also got um, Inazuma All-Stars over here with Gazelle, Bylong, Torch, Tezcat, Wits, Bomber. My God. Bro, this might be the breachiest thing I've ever seen this side of Breachville. Freddy getting the first shot off. And it does not work. Mark Sands firm. Zato, ball over the top. Is that Gazelle about to take it? Look at how cool Gazelle looks there. Northern Impact firing off straight into Mark's direction. Are we going to see activated the super barrier tactic? Godhand V being pulled out. And it's not enough! Where we've got a breach. An immediate breach. A breach straight away. Absolutely insane. And here's, it's Gazelle responding to Gazelle. Are we going to see a similar result here? Standing firm. 
We don't, and we actually see the exact opposite. Zato has just had the greatest piece of luck I've ever seen anyone have in this game. A breach followed by a save. Victor with the fire tornado double drive. Sick, fair, cool. Freddy, can he get some luck going his way? The answer is no. The answer is no. Going for a Doom Sword Slash right now. Firing it off. He needs some kind of breach. And he's actually going to get hit with the God Hand V. The exact opposite of what he wanted. Barely making a dent. What a first half for Zato. Gazelle to maybe finish it. And it is a goal for Freddy. Freddy, fair play to Freddy. He's taken this bad luck and he has gone, nah, it doesn't matter. Because now they're on even footing. Diamond defense is coming out. Zato dashing past. And the exploit. He couldn't get the zone out fast enough. And Zato. Zato just pulls the exploit out of nowhere. And that's going to be controversial. It is legal in this tournament. We didn't want to ban anything. That is going to be controversial. And Bailon, despite being knocked over, is going to get a shot off. And honestly, might score again. Never mind, the God Hand V is coming out. You'd think... Yeah, it does stop it just. And that's full time. And Zato... Zato has gone through. Alright, here we go. Electric Solar versus SD. And by the way, if you're watching this, y'all, and you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do for more Inazuma 11 Victory Road tournaments down the line. If you want to take part in tournaments, make sure you subscribe so you never miss any. Korma, what's he trying to do? Get the ball to Gazelle. Gazelle has fired one off. And it is stopped. But that is half the KP bar gone immediately. By along. Shooting it over. And Darren pulling out the god hand. And it is going to stop it. And Sola is still in a better position than SD right now. SD could not do much to that Keeper Gorge. Gazelle. This could be a goal. Never mind. The God Hand had... Actually, it still could be the Elemental Advantage. It's just not. Never mind! We're already seeing breaches. Because Electric Sola has taken the lead. The pass to Sunny. It might not make it there because of Zohan. Yeah, Zohan intercepts. Tezcat is going to get a shot off here. Never mind. Zohan intercepts again. This guy is crazy. Atomic Flare from Torch. Chaining with Aphrodite. Jack has had time to set up Castle Walls. And it's Chaining with the God Knows. This could be another goal, y'all. Y'all, this could be another goal. Shot Chaining. With Gazelle as well. Oh, this could be another goal. It's the wall from Jack. This this is huge. This is huge. This is a massive moment in the match. Massive moment. And Mark just saves it. But the, the KP bar has been destroyed. Absolutely destroyed there. And he takes it right back. He's not wasting a moment. It's Gazelle. It's Gazelle. It's Gazelle to double the lead. Nathan in front. It's Gazelle to double the lead. And there we go. It's 2-0 to Sola. Sola goes into the second half with a 2-0 advantage thanks to a breach and some crazy shot chaining. I imagine this is going to be a pass over to Gazelle. Gazelle. Northern Impact. Northern Impact. Firing off. Shot chain. 
It's just a regular shot. Okay, that's still going to be a massive amount. Nice. This could be a goal. We could be looking. Never mind. God Hand V has been pulled out here. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's another goal for Solar. He's 3-0 up in the semi-final. Torch. Atomic Flare. This could be one back. Is SD going to get one back here? It, I don't think it matters. It, wow. What a display of assertion. And a save as well. This has not been SD's match. In the slightest. Aphrodite. Solar takes it back. But it's full time. And Solar. 3-0 win into the finals. Now, for a quick bit of clarification about the second semi-final. Due to circumstances outside of our control, both semi-finals had to be played at the same time. I broadcasted one match, while my amazing Discord admin Jürgen recorded the other. Now that match ended up being a draw, and the replay to get the golden goal also ended in a draw. In fact, it all took so long that I could actually end up broadcasting the final and third replay onto my channel. But if you're curious about the first two draws, they're linked in the description on Jürgen's channel. Rorin01901, Zato FR. Who wins? Where's he gonna place it? Tezcat. It's straight to Gazelle. Gazelle gonna whack this towards the goal, but Scotty Banyan manages to get in the way a bit. And it matters. It matters. Mark catches it firmly in his hands. There's no breach in sight. Roranoa gets the ball over to Caleb. Caleb versus Wits. Caleb makes it past. Ooh, the top Goldie drop as well. Gorgeous. Over to Heath. Over to Axel. Axel. Storms past Bomber. Storms past. All right. And the ball is going to go into Athor's legs. Mark. With the God Hand. God Hand versus Normal Shot. And obviously, God Hand stops it. KP Bar not even affected. Meaning that Zato continues to start off on the best foot. And he just stormed that. Buddy hell, that is a sign of domination. Fair play. Torch. Probably going to be able to get the shot off here. But you imagine. Ooh. Did he cheekily get that around the castle wall? Fair. God hand versus Torch here. And it's barely a dent. But to be fair though, it's still a decent dent. Zato seems to be doing the better of the two right now. Zato brings it down to Bailong. Brings it over the top to Gazelle. Offside goes crazy in this game. I mean, I love the fact it's just not there. A direct shot. Ah! And it's a breach! It's a breach, and that's how it ends. It's a golden goal. And it's a breach from Zato. And he takes the win and makes it to the final. There were 256 competitors. Even more than that when you include the backups and the replacements. We took 256, took it down to eight. We started today with eight. And finally, we've gone from eight to four to two. There are two contestants left. That's all there is. Electric Solar and Zato are two finalists for what might just be, when you, get, when you go off of player count, the biggest Inazuma 11 tournament of all time. Let's do this. It's a best of one situation. This is the formation we know and love from Electric Solar. Tezcat is one of the defenders. With Zohan backing him up. And this is the breach. Breachy abomination that Zato has been using. Already up there. Going for the shot. Is he going to get there? He is. It's a God knows immediately. Straight off of the bat. God knows. Straight at... Oh, it's a shot chain. Going to Torch. Is Wits going to get there? 
971. Are we going to see an immediate breach? We're not. Mark stands firm, Torch. With the atomic flare. Smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. Straight at Gazelle. Gazelle. With the direct shot. 1,376. You've got to think this is going in. And it is! Solar draws first blood in the final. He breaks the deadlock so quickly. Hurley with the throw in. Two torch. Xavier. Is he going to get the shot off? A shot here. A you know, if he can get some damage on Zato's KP bar, that would put him in a really nice position. Especially heading into that second half, which we're not too far off of. 644 versus God Hand V. It's a breach! It's a breach! And Electric Solar takes the 2 0 advantage, doubles his lead. Insane! And there's the land of ice from Sean. And the top player from Jair Drop, Gazelle. He's so good at getting these balls over the top, straight into a zone. 491. Fa okay, it's a decent chunk of Zato's bar. Not bad at all. Okay, nice. Gazelle ke keeps... Oh, and it's, it's back with Torch. It's back with Torch with an atomic flare. Solar isn't giving up. He keeps going. Just He's not content with two in the slightest. And it looks like it's a third. It's a third. It's complete and utter domination. A legendary wolf from Sean. Solar stays on the unrelenting attack. Or the relenting. Relentless. Relenting attack. I don't know. I'm not sure. Gazelle. Doesn't get there because Jack stands firm with a wall. But it's going to be in the path of Gazelle anyway. Who gets a Northern Impact off. So it's like nothing ever happened. Okay. Over to... This actually might be another goal. This might be another goal. It's another goal. It's 4-0. Solar. The last minute. 4-0. And there we go. What a final. And there we go, it's full time. An electric solar with the 4 nil win. Crazy. Absolutely crazy.